While this is the Gold Sheet Top 25 college football power rated teams for the summer of 2024, we are not done yet. There are two more teams with the same power rating as number 25 Iowa State. So make sure you subscribe to Wager Talk TV. And as soon as we load teams number 26 and 27, you will get them. At the end of this video, we finish with Better's Edge. I give you some actionable ATS and over-under information. How about a situation with this head coach that is 19 and 1, 95%? We'll get to that in just one minute. Let's look at the Iowa State odds. We are filming this July 31st. Again, these odds are going to change. These are from DraftKings, the current line as of today. National championship odds, 350 to 1. Conference championship to win the Big 12, 10 to 1. To make the football playoff, no line currently listed. Season win total, 7.5. Over is minus 115. Under is minus 105. To go undefeated, no current line listed. And Rocco Beck as the Heisman, 250 to 1. Well, let's take a look back at Iowa State last year and see if their stats and records were a fair representation of how the season went. They, of course, finished 7-6, and six, both straight up and against the spread, and 6-7 and seven over under. Yards per play diff, they were actually a top 35 team. They were number 31 plus 1.0 yards per play. Again, that is better than a 7-16. and six team. On offense, Yards per game and points per game, number 81 and number 72. On defense, number 52 and number 44. They did play a difficult schedule, number 25. And when you look at their efficiency ranks, top 40 in both, 36 on offense, 34 on defense. Well, the season progressed and they won their opener against Northern Iowa, but then lost two of their next three games against Iowa at Ohio U and against Oklahoma. They ended up with five close games. They won two of those. They lost three. Against Iowa, they trailed 20-3 to three into the fourth quarter, got back into it with 147 left. Their final drive, they went four and out. Against Ohio, it was 0-0 at halftime. OU scored the next 10 points. Iowa State scored a touchdown with 4.15 to go to cut it to 10 to 7, but their final possession intercepted on the first play. Against Oklahoma State, they led 20 to 17 at halftime. They led 34 to 20 early fourth quarter. Oklahoma State scored a TD with 2.46 to go, but then Oklahoma State was intercepted. Iowa State picks the ball off at midfield to finish that game. Kansas, Kansas led 14-3 to at half, 21-11 into the fourth quarter. Iowa State got a 29-yard field goal at 4.53. Kansas ran out the last four minutes plus to win the game. And finally, against K-State, a close game they won. K-State was up this time 20-14 to at halftime. It was tied at 28 into the fourth quarter. Kansas State takes the lead 25-28, but Iowa State, Two late TD drives of 60 yards and 76 yards to finish off the 2023 season. I appreciate you watching each and every one of these top 25 videos. Again, if you subscribe to Wager Talk TV, you will get notified immediately when we load the next video. Have a comment? Please do comment below. You agree with the Iowa State assessment we're going to talk about? You disagree? Your best bet for Iowa State? Who do you think will win the Big Ten? Any comment, any question, we appreciate you taking the time to fill that out. And finally, football's around the corner, guys. I'm taping this Wednesday, July 31st. The NFL season, the Hall of Fame game kicks off tomorrow. Football is here. The Gold Sheet is the finest football newsletter and the longest tenured football newsletter. Save $30 with the code GS30. You can save by either going to goldsheet.com or to wagertalk.com. Let's look at the 2024 season. 
And we've talked about a lot of top 25 teams that were on the lower end of returning production. Well, guess what? We found the team that is number one in returning production. Let's look at the Big 12 cheat sheet. Power rated at number 21. 20 returning starters, 11 on offense, 9 on defense. That is number one, Connolly. They, of course, have their quarterback back. They do have one coaching change. They bring in an OC. And as expected, when you return as many starters as Iowa State has, your, your, your recruiting numbers are going to be lower, obviously, because you have fewer spots to recruit. You'll see they were number 70 in the conference, uh, number 70 in the country, and number 16 in the conference. Their past returning starters the last three years, 15, 8, and 20. So they actually did have 20 returning starters a few years ago. They lost one player to the draft. He was worth three points. The previous two years, they lost seven players for 21 points. So that is a positive as well. Only seven transfers, again, because of the returning starters they had. Let's quickly look at the Iowa State team. Last year, Rocco Beck started as a true freshman. There's a lot of reasons you start a true freshman, and it's to get to season two and three. When I broke down his season, in September, he averaged 7.1 yards per attempt. That's dinking and dunking. In October, he averaged 7.3 yards per attempt, also dinking and dunking. Once he got through those first two months and had some game experience under his belt, the rest of the season... He finished 10.8 yards per attempt in his last four games, a 10-1 ratio. They returned their number one running back. And this is an instance where you have to decide if you want to call this a returning starter or not. The returning number one running back only had two starts. But if you have two starts and you lead your team in rushing, to me, I do consider that a returning starter. They do lose their number two, number two and three start, number two and three rushers but they'll be just fine. They returned their top four receivers. The O-line did lose two players that combined for six starts, so they are talented, deep, and experienced. On defense, they returned their top five tacklers and 17 of their top 20. The D-line, they're all back. The linebackers lose one. The DBs lose one. And... While they do have a new OC, no real scheme changes because Taylor Mauser was the tight end coach and the assistant head coach last year. He's been with Campbell for years. They just made a change internally for a new OC, but basically no change in schemes or the way they're going to handle the offense. Well, we know Iowa State is an up-and-coming team with their experience. Let's take a look at their schedule. They have a top 40 schedule this year. You see the numbers in gray are those games between the eights, those that are up in question. We expect them to be a double-digit favorite in five games. A small favorite at home, not actually too small, they're going to be a six-point favorite and a seven-point favorite. So that gives them seven games as a favorite of minus six points or more. As a small dog, on the road, we have them as a pick. We have them as a one-point dog three times. And only once in their 12 games do we expect them to be a dog of two or more. And that is when they travel to Utah and we expect them to be a six-point dog. Let's look at their bye weeks. They have a bye before Arkansas State and Texas Tech. Beneficial for both. Arkansas State will be playing their fourth straight game. They'll be off a game at Michigan and then traveling to Iowa State. Texas Tech will be playing a third straight game. They'll be off a home game against Baylor and a road game at TCU before making a second straight road game at Iowa State. So the schedule, the bye weeks, are favorable for the Cyclones. Any teams have a bye before they face Iowa State? Well, there's one. Kansas does have a bye, but take a look at Iowa State's schedule. They're off a bye, then hosting Texas Tech, and then going to Kansas. 
So not a very big deficit for opponents on a bye. And I do want to point out, take a look at the last two games of the season. It's pretty clear Utah and Kansas State are the number one and number two teams in the Big 12. You have an experienced team with a young quarterback who will now have two complete seasons under his belt by the time he plays the two best teams in the Big Ten to end this 2024 season. Guys, I've enjoyed doing these breakdowns. I already have four week one plays loaded at wagertalk.com. If you're interested in the Gold Sheets football, check out their homepage. If you're interested in my NFL and college football, that combo to $777. Sign up now. Get the plays as soon as I load them. That'll include the preseason where I am over 75%. Since 2015 on NFL preseason plays, graded 4% and higher, make sure you stay tuned. Well, let's finish off the Iowa State Cyclones with the better's edge. Matt Campbell, let's look at what he's done. He's 5-15 and 15 straight up and 5-14-1 and one against the spread when the line's between the fours. Why is that important? Well, he has struggled when he's playing a, a, a team that has – Similar, a similar talent level. So you're on the road to either plus four, on the road to up to a four-point favorite or at home. When he's also on the road between, when he's between the fours, he's three and 17 over under. At home, only one and seven straight up and one six and one ATS in that role. First five years at Iowa State, Campbell went 36 and 25. 59% against the spread, but the last three years, he has only gone 16 and 21, 43%. And what is that one in 19 situation I talked about? Well, when Campbell's Iowa State team is on the road, the lines are between the fours. They have gone one and 19 over under. That is 19 unders. One over, 95% to the under. And more importantly, an ATS or an over-under record is strong. But when those covers have been by 14 points per game, think about that. One in 19 over-under, they've gone under by 14 points per game by two touchdowns. That's when you circle that type of trend. And finally, my best bet to finish the segment I'm going to take a flyer. I already picked Kansas to win the Big 12. I'm going to put a, a sprinkle on Iowa State at 10 to 1. Their schedule plays out to them. If they get on a good run, Becht improves like I expect them to do. That experienced team finishes off against the best two teams at the end of the year. We have Kansas State already. We're going to add a sprinkle in case Iowa State is the main competition. That way we'll cash either way in that role. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this Gold Sheet Top 25 video. Please hit that like button. Thank you again for taking the time. And subscribe to Wager Talk TV and find out which teams are loaded. If you missed any of the previous Top 25, please do check the Wager Talk TV archives.